and thank you for staying up late with us this Easter weekend. Turning to boxing, three local fighters are pretty pumped up for their upcoming fights. We'll start with Joshua Franco, who will face Oscar Negrete for the second straight time. Now, their first bout ended in a draw by split decision back in October. Joshua, who attended Brandeis High School, is eager to get back in the ring and earn that win. The last fight, you know, was a tough fight, of course. Um, we went all 10 rounds, you know, just nonstop throwing punches all together. I think we even broke a, a record or something like that for the most, punch of th uh, most punches thrown in the fight. So, you know, I mean, it was a tough fight, but I think this time around is going to be different. I'm just changing my footwork a little bit more. The, uh, when I, in the last fight, when I was catching him with combination, I would stay in front of him, you know, wait for him to throw back. And uh, that's where I messed up. This time is going to be different. I'm going to throw my combinations and use my footwork more, get around him, use my angles. I think I could get a knockout, of course. I mean, but, you know, if that doesn't happen, I'm, I'll make sure to dominate this time. And make, don't make it so clear as, as last time. Um, but, yeah, the knockout is for sure. I mean, it, it's possible because in the last fight I heard him. Sounds like a great game plan. The winner of this bout will take the NABF Bantamweight title. Fighters are scheduled to go 10 rounds before the main event in Thursday on Thursday in Indio, California. You can see that fight on ringtv.com. Meanwhile, Southwest High School grad Selena Barrios, the current NABF female lightweight title holder, is preparing for the biggest fight of her career on Saturday. Barrios last fought in September, and she's facing Melissa Hernandez, a fighter originally from Puerto Rico who has a 22-7-3 record but hasn't fought since 2016. Selena is excited just to get back in the ring and hopefully get a victory versus a veteran opponent. Man, training camp has been crazy for me, like always. Um, like I said, preparing for this fight, I'm always, my coaches are making sure that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do and just making sure everything's on point. I'm really excited. Um, I've been anxious since, you know, I'm pretty much just been waiting around to get a fight date, but finally I got it, so I'm like, I'm really excited. And my opponent, she's not just a regular, like, walk around, like, you know, local fighter. She's actually someone who has, has ring ex experience, so I mean, I'm excited. Right now, Selena's fight is scheduled to be third before the two title fights Saturday. Should this turn out to be a pretty good fight, the zone will make this their swing bout, meaning they'll show it on their broadcast that evening. Good luck to Selena and Team Barrios this coming weekend. Boxing schedule for your upcoming fights, and here's the boxing schedule featuring some local boxers. Thursday night, Joshua Franco, who attended Brandeis High School, will fight on ringtv.com. Then Saturday on DAZN, Selena Barrios from Southwest High School will look to defeat Melissa Hernandez. And next month, Saturday, May 11th, Mario Barrios, another Southwest High alum and her brother, will take on Juan Velasco in a scheduled 10-round bout on Fox and Fox Deportes. 